All right, this is a portable AC that I bought off of Amazon. Here's the name. It's called Hisense. I think it's Hisense. Uh, it comes with a remote, but it doesn't have batteries. You're going to need to get two AAA batteries and put them in there. It comes with these expandable duct for your exhaust ports. This is the one that goes into the window that hooks onto your leaf over here. It's got little catches on it. And this is the one that goes on the back of the machine itself. It comes with four leafs. Each one is 18 inches long. This one is where the port uh, the collar goes right here. And then uh, you've got one 10 inch. So you've got about 60 inches worth of vertical or horizontal window that you can put it into. And we're gonna show you how to put this bad boy together and how to use it in this video. All right, so you know you can go horizontally like this, or you can go vertically. These windows open up horizontally, so I've gotta go horizontally. All right, so I measured this and it's 35 inches in there, maybe a little bit less. And then I measured this, and I want to get it about the same distance, right? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to come here. And I'm going to pull this until I get to about what I need. So it's going to be that last hole right there. Okay, let me slide it forward a little bit. Balance it. All right, so I've got to put my peg in there, all right? So let me show you how the pegs look. Here's the peg. And when you push it in, it expands and it locks it out. And you only need one. So I'm just gonna push it through there and then it locks it out. And let me show you what it did. If you look inside there, you see that peg. See, when you push it through, it expands and then it keeps this from coming apart. You follow me? Now we can set it in the window. Um, but because this window is a hurricane window, I've got like two inches down. And so this right here, if you look, I can't, that's not going to work because that pushes it up to this sp spot. The, see, that won't fit in there. If I put this in there like that, let me show you. You see how it, whoops. You see how it drops down below there? So that my collar won't fit. It'll hit the window. So I've got to put something in there to boist this up so that it's sitting, you know, sitting like basically sitting right about there, right? So I gotta put something in the window to do that. So I've gotta find something that doesn't come with this kit that I can put in there. And so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go grab something really quick. So I did find a piece of wood that I think may work. And I've just gotta kinda of slide it in there. And it's just gonna sit just like that. All right, so now I've got a piece of wood that I've got in there that should hold this up. So if I come in on an angle like this, then I can go ahead and set it down on there. Once that's there, bam, we're good. Now we've got to get our collar on, all right? So what we're gonna do first is I'm going to put the back collar on, right? So I want it to be like this. I want this facing me. So I'm gonna slide this down like that, all right? Now I can rotate this around. Now I can rotate it around, I can hook it on there. So let me move these things off of here. All right, so now we're looking pretty good, right? So let's go ahead and rotate this. All right, now remember, let me bend this up so you can see it. Remember, you've got these little notches. There's the top notch, there's the bottom notch. So we know that we're right. So now we're gonna rotate this towards this, just like that. And then I'm gonna pull it forward with the accordion thing. And now what I've gotta do is I've gotta get in here and I'm gonna hold it like that and I'm gonna just squeeze it in, just like that. And it's in. Now, just to show you guys, I can just go ahead and get it out of there like that. And here it is. So you can see that it, it latched on these things right here. To get it off, all you gotta do is push it like this. See, it comes off, just like that. So now to get it on, we just do the same thing. I kind of like, just smush it down. Now watch, see how it just sets in there? Gotta get this last one in. I gotta, you gotta kind of get right here, see that? There we go. 
So now I've got one latch, two latch, three latch, everything's good. So now I can bring it up. So there's a couple ways you could do this. This is one way. Then we're gonna set her down in there, just like that, okay? Pull it this way. And now all I've gotta do is bring this window down on it. Bam, look at that. Now that looks good, right? Okay, if you're worried about somebody breaking in, let me show you this special lock. You see this? You see how when I screw this, it gets tighter there when I pull it back up? So what I do with this, I'll show you. I just come up here. All right, so anyway, you just have to put this on the window right here, just like that. And you're just gonna rotate it righty-tighty, bam. And now nobody can get in. They can pull on it, but you've just uh, protected yourself against robbers. So you can buy these on Amazon and they're really cheap. Uh, righty tighty to tight it down, lefty loosey, okay? Very simple. Bam, look at that, now we're good. All right, now we're ready to go. All right, because this window is only 35 inches across, we didn't need to use the other sleeves. We only had to use two of them. And so those should work really well for us. Now all we gotta do is plug in the unit itself. And um, like I said before, this has a circuit breaker on it, so you can test it just by pressing this once you plug it in. When you plug it in, you're gonna see a green light there. Uh, if it overheats, this thing will uh, trigger and keep you from burning down your house. You have to use a dedicated plug, okay? You gotta use a dedicated plug. So I'm just gonna come over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug her in on this, this plug right here, okay? Right down there. And you should see that turn green, bam, done. Let me get a close up for you so you can get a better idea. All right, so before you use it, let's test it. So we're just gonna press this button to test it. Yes, it works. Now to set it back up, we press there. So that's kind of like having your own GFI plug in there. And that's how that works. And here's your power button right here, bam, Bob's your uncle. And we got power. And it's blowing, cool air. If you, want to, if you want to change the mode, you've got cool, which is AC. You got dry, which is dehumidifying, and then you got a fan. Notice when I change the mode, it goes to blank, and then it's going to give me a 78 usually. If I go again, I'm going to show you that. It's going to be blank too. Let's go to cool because we want to stay cool. Over here, we can go ahead and go lower just by pressing the lower button, or we can go higher by pressing the higher button. Bam. If we just want to bring the fan up, we can click that and the fan's going to get stronger. If we want to go low, we click that, it goes back down. Let me go, let me let you hear it. Now it's on high. And it's blowing good cold air. Let me hit it again. And if you listen for a second, you'll see it goes down a little bit. You feel that? It went down. But anyway, it's... Uh, that's, base, that's the, ba the basic uh, controls on it. There really isn't any more controls on it. Um, we also have the remote control, which we can use, right? If you look on the back, you just push this. There you go. Springs get negative. So you go negative side to flat side, push it in there. Flat side, push it in. Bam. To get this back on, you just kind of slide it on. See, it's got little channels where and it pops there. Bam, you're ready to go. So now we're good. So let's go ahead and turn it off here. Okay, now if I turn it on the power here, let's see what happens. Bam, Bob's your uncle, ready to go. The remote is, give it a second to, to, to turn off. Okay, remote control, watch. We just click this, it comes on. There it goes. You can see on here it says 73, 73 there. Now if I want to drop the temperature, I go like this. And it goes down. If I want to go up, I click this. It goes up. Let's go down. Let's get cold. All right, so here you got your mode. Like we went through the modes before, but watch, they'll change. There's your, uh, that's your dehumidifier. That's your dehumidifier. There's your fan. And we're back to cool. Goes back to cool. And here's your fan here, watch. We can change it from low to high or from high to low. That's basically it. Over here, you've got... Uh, the dimmer, if you want to turn it off at night so you don't see the see the uh, control panel, turn it back on, you click there. And, um, and you got a timer, and it's got some kind of swing thing, and I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to read the instructions. 
But basically, that's how, that's how you get it going. That's how you get it in the window. All right, so you're done with the machine and you want to break it down real quick. So first thing you want to do is turn it off. Okay, so we got it off. Once it stops, you're going to unplug it. Bam. Next, what you're going to do is you're just going to open up the window like this. And then you're going to tilt this. Let me see if you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I need to make it a little bit bigger for you guys. I got the window all the way open right there. All right, so and that's my lock on the window that I took off. And then to get it out, I just kind of tilt it, pop it out. And look, it just pops off. Then I can set my thing here. I can collapse the expandable exhaust. And uh, if I want, I can just pull this off. And then bam, we can just go ahead and store it just like that. <laughs> so all you do to drain it really is um, I get a little pie pan like this, you see? And I'm just gonna kind of lift it up a little bit and get it on the pie pan. Just like that. Get the first two with little wheels on there. And then I'm gonna unscrew this. You know, go to the left. And this thing's getting all twisted on it. Just like that. Right now, the water, if there's any in there, it'll drain out. And what I do is I just kind of lift it up and like that. And as you can see, we've only used it for a couple minutes, so it doesn't have any uh, anything on there. So let's go ahead and put our cap back on. <laughs> Whoops. We'll get our cap back on, right? So we're just going to go on here and screw it on. I want to make sure you get it on there good. Because you don't want the water dripping out. Bam, done. All right, that's it. And over here, we've got a couple of filters. And here's one of the filters here. Um, and this filter, on the inside, you have this additional filter that you can take out and clean. And I just take them out and hose them down and let them dry off, and then I put them back in. And you can see how they go in. There's little... You see those little uh, these little nodules here? It kind of slides under that. And then all you do is you kind of pop it down, just like that. You just got to kind of push it back. Watch. I just push it backwards, and it snaps in. And, uh, and then this goes back inside here like this. And you can see here at the top, you see those two little thing bobs? They go right in there like that. And then you just kind of push on both sides. Bam. Bob's your uncle, it's in. Now, I think that there's another filter somewhere else on here. And this doesn't open, yeah. So I don't see any other openings. Oh, here. Here's the other filter. I knew there was another filter in there. And this one, you just pull out and squirt down. So that's pretty simple. So it looks like we've got a filter here. A filter here. Is there one on this side? No. So, and is there one over here? No. So there's not one here. This doesn't open, this doesn't do anything. This is where the collar is gonna go. So our filters are here. So we got two filters. This one, right? And this bad boy here. So that's all you guys have to really be concerned with when it comes to cleaning those filters. And you wanna clean them because it makes the machine run better. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos on this very inexpensive portable AC. Peace out.